So what I'm going to do here is just talk you through again the generic SM1 reaction. So it's the SM1 reaction. You have it on your slides, but sometimes it's easier if you see it drawn out in real time. So we've got a substrate. So this is a molecule which is going to do the reaction. Because it's generic, that means it could apply to any example. So we're not actually going to stipulate what our X, our Y, our Z are, or what our leaving group is. So in the first step of SM1, remember, we lose our leaving group. So we have our arrow showing the loss of the leaving group. And that will take us through, when we've lost this, to a positively charged carbocation. So we can draw that. Again, we've got these three different groups, X, Y, Z. It's positively charged because we've lost our leaving group. So we've got our leaving group separate. And so this is our carbocation intermediate. So remember these carbocations are flat. So that means when we attack this by a nucleophile, because it's a SM1 substitution nu nucleophilic unimolecular. Unimolecular means we've just got one species involved in the rate determining step. So actually let's write this down. RDS, that's our rate determining step. So when our nucleophile comes in to replace the leaving group, it's going to attack our carbocation. But remember, this is planar. So it's planar, it's flat. So when the nucleophile approaches this planar intermediate, it could attack from above or it could attack from underneath. And because this is flat, it's equally likely it will attack from above and below. So that means if half of it is attacking from above, we could write it, say, is this isomer? If half of it is attacking from the other side, we'll have our nucleophile on the opposite side. So this is exactly what's on your PowerPoint slide, but hopefully by going through, it's a bit clearer. So because it's attacking from either side, in equal amounts, we get a racemic mixture. Racemic meaning that we've got equal quantities of each of the different stereoisomers. So that's the essential features of the SM1 reaction. We lose our leaving group from one um, species, from the substrate, in the rate determining step. We form our planar carbocation. Because it's planar, the nucleophile can attack from above or below, giving us equal quantities of the two different stereoisomers, so it's a racemic mixture. And also just to note that the rate is only dependent on this one species, so it would be equal to a constant times the concentration of the, we just call it starting material one. And we call this here starting material one, just so you're clear which we're talking about. Good, hopefully that was helpful.